Southwest mm -hmm. cars have created a big divide in San Francisco. Over the past few months, though, safety concerns have been the focus of that. Remember this video from less than a month ago about 10 driverless cruise cars brought traffic to a standstill in North Beach. Crews at the time blamed wireless connectiv connectivity issues because of huge crowds that were gathering over at Outside Lands. Then days later in the Tenderloin, a cruise car collided with a fire truck responding to an emergency. And in that same week, San Francisco Fire blamed two stalled cruise cars for delaying an ambulance that was rushing someone to the hospital. That person later died. Cruz refutes those claims. But on this Labor Day, a rally outside Cruz headquarters focused on a different aspect of robo-taxi expansion, what it could mean for rideshare drivers across San Francisco. Here's Jose Martinez. I'm here at the intersection of Bryant and 10 streets where these drivers gathered earlier today to basically send a message about their fear of AI taking over their jobs. And as they were speaking, workers here at this cruise location started playing loud music to try to interrupt the rally. It's the sound of a popular Mexican TV show called El Chavo. Playing from the inside of this cruise location in Soma, while members of the Alliance for Independent Workers were rallying outside. Behind this gate here, they have a security post and they were choosing to be disruptive. Now these are immigrants, low income uh, security workers, right? Minorities. And so they were choosing the side of the corporation by playing uh, circus music. They were playing uh, rap music with, uh, with foul language. It's a frustrating experience for Edward Escobar, an East Bay Uber driver who's also the director of this alliance. He organized this protest during Labor Day to send the message about the fear of robo-taxis taking their jobs. There isn't any dialogue happening. It's pretty much one-sided. It's being dictated by the tech titans, uh, Waymo, which is Google, and also uh, General Motors Cruise. Uh, they're pretty much uh, dictating the terms and, and the CPUC is allowing that to happen. But Cruz says the company is doing its part by partnering with local labor unions. In a statement, the company said Cruz was proud to sign industry first jobs agreements with local labor, IBEW Local 6 and SEIU Local 87, whose workers will install chargers and support our facilities across San Francisco. Cruz also highlighted that the construction of a major EV charging facility on Cesar Chavez Street was conducted by 100% Bay Area Union labor, including electricians, carpenters, and iron workers, representing over 100 jobs. But Edward tells me this is not enough. The real concern is the future of drivers like him. You're looking at automation, uh, well, self-driving technology ushering in the new age of AI, which is uh, basically AI automation, and you're looking at permanent displacement of many workers. If you're looking at transport workers alone in the state of California, uh, UC Berkeley came out with a study and they said approximately 600,000 plus uh, transport workers in California alone were going to be displaced. This protest happened just two weeks after the California Public Utilities Commission approved the expansion of crews in Waymo Robo Taxi service despite the rejection from the fire department, citing safety concerns. And Edward tells me he's going to continue leading this fight until these companies allow them to be part of this conversation.